My name is David. Uh, I live in uh, North Carolina now, both from New York City. I'm 58 years old and uh, I've been retired for the last 18 years. Approximately five years ago, I was diagnosed with lupus and Sjogren's disease. I went to doctors and uh, they, they couldn't do anything for me. They wanted to give me a medication that they say could cause blindness and I would prefer not to have gone blind uh, trying to fix the problem that I had. Uh, so I denied the medication. When I started to become ill, I was approximately 50 years old. At first, my, my feet started getting numb, but as, uh, as the disease started to advance, the numbness moved up to my, up my legs, up to my waist, and I couldn't feel my legs. It was hard to go to the bathroom. The next thing that happened was saliva would go down my throat and into my lungs and start to drown me at night because the muscles wouldn't work. Uh, I was getting cold sweats every night and uh, I, I started to lose my memory. But eventually uh, I went and they gave me the diagnosis but by the time I went it was I was pretty far along where they said there was nothing that they could do for me. I would have to live with the lupus and the Sjogren's disease. But uh, after a year of that I had degraded so, so fast that they felt like uh, maybe uh, I would be passing very soon because uh, my diaphragm stopped moving up and down, the muscles stopped moving, so there was a chance where uh, I would need help even breathing, and I knew it wasn't going to be long after that that I'd, that I'd you know, pass away. So I had to find something really quick, and in uh, the process of looking for an alternative uh, treatment, I just happened to be looking at the Joe Rogan podcast when Mel Gibson was on uh, with Neil Reardon, and uh, it impressed me. So uh, I did some research into it, and we decided to uh, make an appointment to come out here. After the first treatment that I got approximately four years ago, a little bit more than four years ago, two weeks after the treatment, I've never had another symptom. I've, I've never had another lupus symptom or Sjogren's symptom. Uh, I, once or twice within the four years, I've had maybe a night sweat, but aside from that, there haven't been any of the other symptoms and have never shown up again. So uh, I was very happy about that. And I didn't know how long it was gonna last either, but uh, even a year after when I decided I'm gonna come back again, I still hadn't had any symptoms. It's been four years now since, uh, since I've had any symptoms of the lupus or the Sjogren's. This is, uh, I'm here now for my fourth time at uh, the Institute and people always ask me, if this thing works so well, why do you keep coming back if you haven't had any uh, symptoms? Because I haven't had any symptoms after, the, after two weeks after the first treatment here. And my, rational, my rationalization for that is that if it fixed the lupus and the Sjogren's disease, and I'm 58 years old now, I'm sure there are other things that are breaking down in this old age that it's probably gonna fix also. Because the last time I came, I actually met someone that had a heart disease, and uh, he's doing quite well now. He doesn't seem to have it anymore, according to him, so uh, these things work. I never really changed my life, it just felt different inside of me. I mean, emotionally, I knew I was dying. So that was hard, thinking I was gonna leave my family, and everything like that. And everyone saw it in me, everyone saw that I was going really fast. So uh, when I came back from Panama, and they saw the difference in such a short time, everybody was really happy for me. Uh, and I felt like uh, I could start making plans for the rest of my life again, where I, was, where I was making plans for the end of my life before that. I think this place is a miracle for so many different things now, and uh, the Stem Cell Institute, I believe, saved my life.